Happy Love Island Day! Woo! Yeah! Hey guys, it's your girl Brandy, aka Brandy4. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you are new here. I do lots of commentary videos on Love Island, Degrassi, pop culture, also do travel vlogs. So if you like all those things, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you hear sirens in the background, I apologize. I live in New York and it's always loud, even when I'm recording right now. Literally only when I'm recording, mind you. Yes, so I watched Love Island season eight. Is it season eight? Dang, we on season eight already. Yes, so Love Island season eight in the UK came out today. Yes, I've been waiting for this show to be quite honest because um, I'm at the stage right now where I don't have much to watch and yeah, Love Island came at a perfect time. And just like last season, I will be talking about Love Island depending on how interesting the episode is. I don't think I'll be doing an episode review every day because if we be honest, not every episode of Love Island is going to be interesting and worth a review. So please keep that in mind when you're looking for review videos from me because I'm just like y'all in terms of like what's interesting to me. Like if an episode is boring, I'm not reviewing it. I'm sorry. But if an episode is juicy, you will in fact be hearing from me. So make sure you subscribe. Clearly this season is going to be different than the other seasons. Um, the producers, they've clearly been listening to everyone pretty much say that if you don't do something different this time around, then the show will in fact go downhill. So what the producers did this season is that instead of having the Islanders choose who they would like to couple up with, they let the UK decide on who they had wanted the Islanders to couple up with. They made the public decide, basically. Don't get me wrong, I think this is an interesting idea. I like that they're trying something different. Absolutely love it, because you know, we're used to seeing the same thing every year. Love Island is honestly becoming quite predictable. So yeah, I appreciate the producers trying something new. However, are they sure they got this right? Like, are they sure, are they positive the public voted for the, I don't know. The way none of them like who they're coupled up with, I don't get any good vibes from any of the couples so far. They all look like they don't like each other. <laughs> so it's kind of like, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't know if that actually worked, so maybe next year we won't try that, Love Island. For starters, the cast looked like they were so upset by the fact that the public had to vote. They all looked so upset. And I'm like, damn, it's not like y'all know them anyway. Like, what difference does it make? Like, just let the public choose. I don't understand why they were so mad about it, but like, yeah. Everybody's face was just like... And it doesn't really make sense to me because it's not like the cast is ugly. In my personal opinion, I feel like this season has some good looking people. Like, I don't know about y'all, but I really think everyone looks good. Like, there's not one ugly duckling in this cast. Like, yeah, you have like the average good looking people in this cast. But like, for the most part, yeah, everyone's like good looking. No one's ugly. But yeah, that didn't mean anything because the cast was so upset that they could not choose who they wanted to couple up with. Especially Gemma Chow. Gemma was so mad that she was coupled up with Liam. <laughs> I felt so bad for Liam. Like she was saying that Liam was too short for her. She was making fun of his last name because his last name was like Bish or something. She was like, nah, don't like that. And I'm like, damn girl, what's your last name? <laughs> Like, all right, I understand, like, you don't like him in that way. Well, it's clearly obvious. But, like, at least get to know him on a friendly level. It seems like she's really kind of being a little mean towards him. Like, I get that you're not attracted to him, but, like, you can really just get to know him on a friend level. I don't understand when people write off, like, whoever they're coupled up with immediately when they don't want to be coupled up with them. Because it's like, you still gotta live with that person at the end of the day, so you might as well get to know them. Like, I get it, but also, like, come on. And it sucks because Liam actually seems like a nice guy. I get nice 
genuine vibes from him. He seems adorable in my opinion. Like, I don't know. From first impressions, I think he is going to be like one of the likable characters this season. So yeah, right now Gemma is not looking good. She's kind of looking a little mean, a little mean girlish. I don't know, it's giving me mean girl. Cause it's like, girl, just talk to him. You haven't even known him for like more than an hour. Like, come on, sis. And then the first people we saw couple up with each other was Dammy. Is am I saying his name right? I'm sorry, y'all. It's new. Dammy and Amber. Um, and they're a good looking couple. I think they're both very attractive. Dammy, for some reason though, when he had first coupled up when they had first coupled up with each other and he found out that America voted for him to couple up with Amber. He looked really upset. <laughs> Is it just me? I saw that he looked kind of like upset. He wasn't happy about it at all. He was just like, okay. And I'm like, why isn't anyone enthusiastic? It's not like the girl's ugly. She's mad cute. Like, why aren't you happier? But once you get to know him and you see his personality, you could kind of tell that he's one of those chill vibes. So I feel like so far, I do like Dammy. I don't have an issue with him just yet. And I like Amber as well. I think she's pretty cool. She seems like a normal girl. Like, I feel like I would be friends with her. She seems pretty chill. So yes, like the two. And also Amber, she kind of reminds me of that girl who was in Love Island, Australia. She's coupled up with um, that black guy from last season. I can't remember his name, I'm sorry, but yes. She look, kind of looks like her, if you guys know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I feel like they actually will like each other. However, I also think that Demi is into India. And can I just start by saying that India is going to be the star of this season? I'm not saying that because she's black. <laughs> I mean, that's just a plus, to be honest. Um, A black woman on this season, even though, don't get me wrong, I'm always scared about the black women that come on the show. Always scared, always extremely hesitant when I see this because they did my... They did my girl Kaz so dirty last year, the way the UK was acting towards her. But anyways, yeah, I feel like India is definitely going to be the star of the season for the fact that she really does not, she not playing. She not here to play. She's like, you let me know what your type is. <laughs> you can let me know what your type is. Don't be like, oh, you're my, what is that? <laughs> like, let me know what, what is your type? I need to know so I can know that I'm not wasting my time. She is a very straightforward girl and we need straightforward people, <laughs> period. We always need that one straightforward person per season. And I feel like she is going to bring it. She's going to give that to us. She's not going to let no guy walk over her. So I thought it was really funny that the UK chose her to couple up with, what's his name, Akenna? I thought that was really funny because from his intro video, everyone, bruh, everyone was going in on him from that intro video. It ain't even gonna hold you. I was seeing it all on Twitter. It was very interesting that the UK made them two couple up with each other because um, he just... If I'm being honest, he does give me Kuhn vibes. If I'm being honest, I'm just being honest. So that, and I feel like India notices that as well, which is why she's kind of like, uh, I don't know. I don't think she actually likes Ikenna, if I'm being, I feel like she's not as attracted to him. Maybe I'll be wrong. Let's see how this week goes. But I feel like she, if anything, she's more attracted to Demi. And I can see them working out to be, they would look really good together. Andrew and Tasha are coupled up with each other as well. And I thought it was really interesting. Tasha admitted to being born deaf. And I thought that was so interesting. And I do like that Love Island producers, they're shedding more light on people with disabilities. I do appreciate that so much. However, I feel like now, ever since last season, they're kind of having that one token disability person, like per season now. Last year it was Hugo and now this year it's Tasha. So I think that's very interesting and something to keep in mind. <laughs> I feel like Tasha is 
a pretty cool chick. I think she's really sweet. She kind of gives me Camilla from season three vibes because she just seems like the girl next door, basically. She seems like a very sweet girl. Andrew, I don't really get his personality as of yet, but I can't really say. However, I don't really see them two speaking as much as I would like, because I don't even see them like talking for real, for real. Next we have Luca and Paige. Can I start by saying, what is up with Luca's tattoos? He really just like got any tattoo. He really just walked in a tattoo shop and was like, I want every tattoo you can think of placed on my body, anywhere on my body. I feel like Paige is not that into Luca as well. I just don't get that vibe. It's so weird. Like no one is really into the couples that they're into. I do think Paige, however, she gives me the vibe that she will be the drama of the season as well. Vibe that she will like stand up for herself and stand up for like girls of the season. So I am intrigued by her. I think she's going to bring it this season. I don't know what she's going to bring exactly, but I'm looking forward to seeing her more. As far as Luca, I don't I don't really know. It's kind of hard. It's kind of hard. Um, Yeah, first episode impressions, like when it came to the men anyway, like I don't they're not that memorable like their personalities they don't really stand out i feel like if anything the personalities that stood out to me the most were ikenna and liam um ikenna because like he does he's a little funny like i can see him being a little funny and liam he seems like a sweetheart but otherwise all the other guys they have not like stood out to me as much but that could change in like a day so we'll see they brought in a bombshell literally like an hour later um an italian guy named davide he's attractive very very attractive however once again he seems kind of boring but child all the girls love davide including Gemma, tasha i think paige actually <laughs> they all love davide Gemma definitely likes him the most though i feel like she's definitely going to go after him tasha yeah tasha's like oh i dated an italian guy so it looks like she's gonna go after him as well and i don't know i have a feeling that davide is going to go after Gemma because Gemma is she's like that typical instagram look you know, and Love Island men usually go for Instagram looks. They don't go for girl next door like Tasha, if we're being honest. So yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he couples up with her. However, I don't understand why they brought in a bombshell so early in the game. What was really the point of that? They couldn't have like waited like one more day or something. Like, I don't know my opinion but yeah also wanted to talk about our host laura whitmore um it seems like she has more energy this time around this season compared to last so that's good um we'll see how she does um hopefully she isn't biased in love island after sun like she was last season so yeah we'll see how that goes but i still miss caroline black r.i.p Oh yeah, and what also surprised me was the fact that like during one of the games, they had a question for one of the girls that were like, kiss the girl who you find most attractive. Amber had to answer that question or like kiss a girl. And so she ended up kissing Tasha. All the boys were shook. All the boys were like, dang, so there are bi people this season. <laughs> Yo, I was dead. Everybody was like, you can't do that. Oh yes, you can. Oh yes. Yo, I was, I was hype. But also, how is this going to work? I really want to know how this is going to work. I see that clearly Love Island producers, they're listening to what people are saying. Now they're trying to be more inclusive, um, which is interesting, even though like they have failed at it several times. So we will see if this actually is a more inclusive season i always have hope even though it always turns out to be the same but i i pray i pray that it is different from last season i pray that we don't get five blonde bombshells next this season like i swear if they do 
if they do that again i'm gonna be so tight like they better not do that but yeah i'm excited for this season man i'm excited for the drama i feel like there's going to be drama and let me tell you the people who i think there's gonna be the most drama with i think india Gemma, and Paige. they're gonna bring the drama I feel like they're going to have the most dramatic episodes this season, to be quite honest. And I feel like Akana's going to piss someone off some way, somehow. I feel like Demi, Demi, he's going to play a girl. I just know, I can feel it in my bones. I just know something's about to happen. I feel like Andrew, he's going to be the funny one this season. I just know. I know. I know. So yes, very excited for this season. I'm so excited. And once again, I will be doing Love Island reviews on episodes that are actually interesting. I will try to do as many reviews as possible, but please, no promises on the boring episodes. I kid you not. So yes, that's all I have to say. Make sure you like this video. If you want to check out my videos from last season, you can go right ahead. I have a playlist for Love Island season seven. UK. I also have Love Island USA episode reviews as well. So if you want to watch that, go ahead. And yeah, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more Love Island reviews. Period.